right, Libras, welcome back to the channel. Let's see if we can tap into your person's headspace, find out what they're thinking about. <laughs> yes, let's see if we can find out where their focus and attention uh, is and what their thoughts are when it comes to you, your connection, and the circumstances around your connection. If this reading doesn't resonate for you guys, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can always check that one out to see if I was able to pick up your energy there. There. Let's jump in. Who's coming forward for my Libras? My Libras. Libras person. Where's their energy at? What's on their brain right now? Ooh, that one came out really pretty, didn't it? Ow, heartache. Heartache. And for anyone interested, this is the Tattoo Tarot. It was donated by one of our tribe members, Marilyn. Thank you so much. We are diving into this deck. Ten of Pentacles, heartache, uh, our legacy. A lot of times we talk about that card is what we're wanting to manifest out long term. Someone was wanting long term. But it can also represent what we have invested in. If we invested in a relationship, um, that's our legacy so far. <laughs> Whatever that, what's come about in that relationship. So... They're definitely focused in on the legacy, heartbreak legacy, what we've had together. And then what do we got? A seven of swords. <laughs> oh my God, opposition. Yeah, opposition. Let's clarify that opposition. Opposition. Uh, Sometimes you can feel like somebody has disarmed you or they've hurt your feelings with their words. We've got the Hermit card. Somebody's withdrawn. Yeah. That one don't want to go with me. The Star card. Looking to their future. Somebody is, um, from what it's saying, seriously, is they've got heartache. They're um, constantly thinking about what we've had together, what we've built together. Uh, the connection that we had together, what our legacy is so far together. And you seem to be in, an, you know, opposition, going the opposite way and more withdrawn to yourself and considering your future, what you're wanting for the future. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, they're picking up from their perspective. <laughs> you're having doubts about uh, whether or not this is going to continue with them out long term let's pick up your energy the energy between you their energy but remember we are doing this from their perspective guys this is not how you see yourself we're wanting to see what your person is thinking feeling perceiving that kind of thing so how are they perceiving my leaders right now what's the energy on that tell us what you're perceiving We've got a Queen of Wands, you're a big influence right now. That's uh, the divine feminine aspect of our Aries energy. Um, like mentality. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles um, is anxiety card, but a lot of times the Pentacles are always there. We're just not uh, reaching and taking the opportunities available to us. Feeling like there's a lack and we've got a Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, Capricorn. So my Libras are holding you in a Capricorn energy. That with that, with this, it's like they're saying something has happened because these two energies are uh, very much different than each other. Because this one is a very, um, how do I put it, down to earth, nurturing kind of energy. Um. Where this energy is more of um, a magnet for other people, spotlight for other people in the public eye, very popular, uh, beautiful, a center stage kind of energy. It's, you know, it's a fire energy. So this person is saying all of a sudden, you have changed. You have changed and went from um, being in this... Uh, down-to-earth practical like homebody sort of person <laughs> into somebody that's wanting a lot more a lot more than what what you have in the connection so mm, let's see the energies between us from their perspective let's see it from their perspective how are the 
how is the energies between them? <clears throat> Energy. Y'all forgive me. My voice is going out on me as usual. Five of Cups. Whew. Disappointment. Feeling left behind. You can see the little guy's got his fingers in his ears. Guys, this, this is the tattoo terror. This is the deviant moon. I love the deviant moon. <laughs> Because, you know, it's feeling left behind, but I'll say he's, he's holding his fingers in his ears like, la, 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 I can't hear you, can't hear you. That kind of thing, I'm not listening. No, 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 I'm not hearing you. Let's see what else. Ace of Pentacles, reward. Uh, someone sees what we're manifesting. Can't hear you is what we're manifesting. <laughs> And card of nostalgia, the past, the innocence, the purity. Because uh, sometimes can represent children also. For some of us, we actually may have children, and this person is popped in. That energy is between us. It's a concern. But for those of us that that's not the case, this person is just being very nostalgic and wanting to re <laughs> so. The past feelings, the past uh, that we've had, because they're picking up that you, you're just like, no, I'm done. I want more than this. And yeah, it, uh, there's a lot of lack in this relationship. Um, from from their perspective, that's how they feel feel that you feel. Let's see their their energy. How are they going to describe themselves? They're in hangman paused stuck mode. Yes, they're not sure what to do. Trying to get a perspective, uh, holding out faith. You can see our hair font here praying, <laughs> holding out faith, wanting that traditional. Let's go back and and uh, um, reignite the flames, the love, the passion. They don't want things to change. Let's put it that way. They're uncomfortable with any kind of change. Then we have a page of swords. Ooh, page of swords. The messenger. Hold on. Let's find out. Because it's not just a messenger. Um, he's considered a messenger when he comes up. It's like there's a message, you know. Uh, yeah, coming your way, but he's also that looking to the future, trying to figure out where to direct his thoughts, what to do, how to analyze. We're ta we're ta talking thoughts, analyzing intellect, uh, and also what's my next challenge? What can I do to overcome the next hurdle? Let's clarify it. Ow, we're getting it. He's coming in as a messenger. He really wished you would listen because you're in opposition. Uh, you'll see that Seven of Pentacles is it's a card about patience, but it's also a card of frustration. Why exhibiting his patience? Things are very frustrating. It's, uh, also, a lot of times when we talk emotions, our thoughts, our emotional thoughts from a Seven of Pentacles, it's like we're questioning, is it worth it? Is it worth it to invest any more time and energy into it? So it's coming in as the messenger. Uh, two of Wands. So basically what this person is waiting for is for you to say that uh, you're you're moving on. Like like right now, they, they're stuck. We're being governed by their, their feelings stuck, trying to see things in a different perspective. They're waiting on you to give them clear a clear message of it's not worth it to you. You're not willing to invest any more time and energy in that you're moving forward. But uh, that move forward card is, you know, two of wands is a progress card. You've made progress. Opportunities open. But you're paused on the threshold, to, you know, because you're at a crossroad. You're trying to decide uh, for sure, do I want to step over this threshold? And when I do, what's going with me and what's not? That kind of thing. So they're definitely... Um, anticipating the worst, us telling them the worst, because, like I said, they've got you doing a a, a flip, like a two-side flip, uh, from where they would say you're this loving, practical, nurturing kind of person, and you've all of a sudden went into this fiery kind of different personality on them, and your connection, your situation, circumstances, Everything in the connection is lacking, is not enough for you. 
So yeah. Ow. <laughs> Dang Libras. Is that your person's perception? And their thoughts are centering on um, what's been invested. They're, they're hurting. They got a lot of emotional thoughts going on. And they feel like you are, you know, walking away. Walking away and probably just leaving them behind with with that seven of uh, swords. Because I'm, I'm not really picking up any kind of energy of saying, you know, like you, you've you cut them down like they won't revenge stuff like that it's more of feeling like they're being left behind and it hurts we're going to use the romance angel oracles i'm going to ask your higher self to tap into this conversation and give you a card just something on each one of these energies i want to see what your higher self is saying about how this person is perceiving you what would your higher self want to chime in with we got one here Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. We've got another one standing here right there. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Like I said, for some of us, we actually may have children together and be having, you know, a hard time, just frustrating time in our circumstances. But for those of us that are not, that does not apply to us, then it's going to be saying your higher self is telling you pay attention to red flags. This person may be um, emotionally vulnerable, uh, childlike, emotionally vulnerable. Not, uh, they don't know how to handle their emotions too well. So, yeah, let's see what uh, this, your higher self is saying about the center energy, the energy between us. That la 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 la, there's the child, y'all. <laughs> la, la, la 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 I can't hear you. I'm not hearing you tell me I'm, uh, you know, you're walking away and you're done. I'm not hearing it. No. La 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 la. Let's see what your higher self is going to say. What is your higher self? Libra's person. Libra's. Libra's. Mm, right here. Right here. Uh, oh gosh release your ex the time has come to clear your energies to clear out the energies and really uh, because your person if it's resonating you're going well their perception's pretty good you're standing on the threshold so it's time for you to make a decision and clear out the old energy regardless of whether you're walking away from this person, you're done with this person, or if you're willing to give it another chance. If you give it another chance, it needs to be a whole new beginning. Clear out the old energy. No, no more in the ears. La, 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 I can't hear you. <laughs> Pay attention. You will know if that's possible. Let's see uh, what your higher self is uh, going to chime in about how this person has described their self. Because they're full of hope and faith. They really, they're praying. They're praying, you know, uh, with that hair font. But, and they're trying to see things in a different way. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner. You see, there's definitely a physical attraction. And a love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now, that's what your higher self is telling you. Make a choice, but also be firm about the choices you're making. What did I pick up? I picked up, what was it? Oh, the Aries energy over here, the Divine Feminine. You are the influence in this connection um, with, with that, that one describing your energy. Or, uh, Aries energy, that's the lead energy. It's the leading influence of what direction this connection can go to go in this person will take your lead because your higher self's already <laughs> even told us they're childlike they're childlike they will take what you say your examples uh the boundaries you set they they will respect them uh, you're also helping them to learn to awaken to their self and mature more to, uh, on an emotional level on how to deal with emotions and stuff when you can step into that divine feminine Aries energy, the leading influence of what direction this connection can actually go in and whether it can work or not work. Yes, it will actually work if you want it to work. But you're going to take the lead because you're the leading influence. 
let's go ahead and give your person a chance to give you a message. A brief message. Let's see what the heck they want to choose from. Oh, I'm feeling the roses. It's the small one, guys. It's the, it is shadow side of the message deck. But let's see what they're wanting to say. This is for my Libras, their person. Can we get their person to step forward? Put their energy on the deck. Let me get it away for us. It's my Libras person, whatever you'd like to say. Ooh, that got warm real quick. Yes, it did. Libras person. First one. It's hard for me to admit when I'm wrong and say I'm sorry. I can't be who and what you want me to be. I'm hearing I don't know how to be what you what you want me to be. Thank you for still loving me. So anything else? Anything? Yeah. Hang on, guys. I'm going to pass it up here. Let me get it. I don't mean to be so selfish. I'm not running from you. I'm running from my my life and myself. I'm running more from myself. I'm not. I'm. I'm running. I want to change that word to avoid. <laughs> avoid, cause we got that one. La 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 la. I can't hear you. Misaligned. We're on different paths. I'm hearing that in question form. Are we misaligned and headed to, in different paths away from each other? Was there anything else with this? Yes. I became obsessed with you and it scared me. I'm I'm hearing it in present tense. I'm becoming obsessed. That means that's you're all they can think about right now. And what's going on in the connection, that's all they can think about right now. And it's scaring them. They're feeling very scared. Ooh, let's go ahead and get a lover's oracles for my Libras. We haven't used these in a while, guys. I thought we'd pull them out and utilize them. It's for my Libras and their person. We're getting this one and that one. Ooh, we're going to get three. We'll take them. I'm not going to be stingy. That, I'll show you the picture. It's got the yin, the yang. <laughs> yes, you're the influence over that flow together. Balance, Libras. <laughs> yes, love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges us. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Wished it wasn't, but it has been, yeah. I love the wings. Isn't that beautiful? The past is now behind you. Release release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Follow it with faith. <clears throat> the next one, like I said, my Libras, you're the leading influencer over this connection and where things can go. The possibilities are unbounded for you because you're the lead influence. Mm -hmm. I love that one too. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Which is beyond our control. Don't focus on uh, what you can't change. Focus, on, like I said, you are an influencer. You know how to be very persuasive. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do, to change the things that can be changed. Yes. Okay, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.